Hey guys, in this video I am going to be showing you how to create an object detection iOS application. It looks something like this. So when you open the application you need to give the permission to camera. And once you give the permission to camera, we can identify all the objects that's in front of the camera like keyboard, mouse, monitor, laptop, <laughs> soft toy, or doggy, backpack, switchboard or anything like that. So if you want to learn how to do this, stick till the end and make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. So let's get started. So let's begin. Open up Xcode. Start a single view application. Let the name be Object D, like object detection. Right? So all these are not required. Just click next and let it be in the desktop so first things first we'll add a camera camera permission to the app so just type in private privacy and search for camera user description yeah, that's it. Give access to camera. That's fine. Now let's go to the view controller and import a few things. Import AV kit and import vision with which we are going to detect the objects. Okay. Now just save that and now just a second now let's go to the open up chrome or any search engine and search for apple core ml resnet 50 model it will open up machine learning website from which you can download the resnet model yeah you can see a different type of model MNIST model which is for detecting text numbers mobile net version 2 is also a great one but which I found the best was ResNet and SqueezeNet was also bad, better but ResNet is better than SqueezeNet right just view model and download the ResNet ML model 32 bit precision yeah it's gonna take some time it's one one zero two MB so let it download and so now get the rest net model and add it why is it not coming hold on yeah drag and drop and make sure it is create folder reference and object id is selected it's here so you don't need to make any changes to this model just download and put the model in the in the project folder now let's go design our view controller Don't worry about this, I'm going to give the link down below in the description. So now, all you need to do is start creating the view controller. So we'll start with the view. We'll add a view in which we'll show the object name and the accuracy percentage. So we are just going to put it down below. I don't know why it's lagging so much. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, just give the description. You know what? Select this, select the view, press hold on command, and select the outer view. 
and go down below here and just select constraint to margin and select equal height and equal width doesn't make a difference so now that the view let's put from down below from the view zero and let's make it to the center horizontally in the container now that makes it of full size of the original background view so now you need to do is just scale it to the minimum let's say 0.2 so in equal height in the its proportion right so let the multiplier be 0.2 so as you can see it's down below if i put 0.5 so it becomes exactly half of the behind view so let's put 0.15 mm, yeah that's fine or probably 0.2 is better and yeah that's fine now you need to add a label there are two types of label here one is the accuracy percentage Let's go up from the view, let's say 10, 20, 20, to the below view by 60. That sounds about right. Let's put the text in the center and let the number of lines be, let's say 5. And let's see how does it look that's all right put the text as dark gray color it's just to make it view a little bit better and it be bold yeah that's fine 15 is fine let it be 16 not a problem and this label so just put it down below mm. it's a 10 20 20 that's fine and just keep it in the center as well accuracy let's say zero percent for now object name right and let's bring this to 14 bold semi bold let the color be dark gray and it sounds about right again now let's add all the the view and the two labels to the view controller dot swift so just click this it's assistant editor and set it to automatic so the view controller link to that file will open up yeah this one is it now let's add the view just control press control on the keyboard and click and drag it to the file let's name it below view And this one be object name label. Accuracy label. Okay. And also add one more thing. Hidden preferred status bar hidden boolean so what this will do is uh, the status bar time which shows the time and battery and everything will be return return 
as false sorry no sorry return true so that it will be hit hidden and now close the editor side editor now we just need to make changes in the file now add a v a v capture video data output sample buffer delegate that's what you need to add this make a point of it now in the view read load just now you just need to paste uh, type the code which i am typing here which i have pasted here so this particular thing will create a session a camera session and this will create the uh, select the video format and the de device would be the captured device and the rare camera will be used and the session will start running and this preview layer is where uh, layer dot view dot layer dot add sub layer so on the behind layer on top of that it will add the preview layer of the video video feed that you will be getting and here i can say the camera is now created and this particular thing the input the output of the camera will be passed on to the session so this entire thing was to activate the camera and pass the session to it pass the video output session now what we want to do is yeah okay now that the camera is added we can add the below view on top of that so view dot add sub view add sub view and here you can say below view and for below view also uh, we'll make some few visual changes or better changes below view dot clips to bounds equals to true and below view dot uh, corner radius dot layer dot corner radius equals to let's say 15.0 and below view dot layer dot mask corners and in square brackets write dot layer max x min y corner and in the next one write min x and min y so what it will do yeah it will select the top left and top right and it will curve that part and you'll see you'll see when i play the when i run the application on my phone so now that this is done we'll start adding the restnet model and for that you just go up there right var model equals to restnet 50 dot model just that's it that's all you need to do to import the model to the view now you need to add the restnet model and pass the video format the cap in the capture session to that restnet model and it will return back the result the name of the object that's in front of the camera so here's the code for it you see capture output av capture output and will pass the it will use the pixel buffer and when the the model which it will take is the model which we which we wrote here the restnet model it will use that model and pass on the request to the model for the using core ml apple's core ml and when it is finished it will return back the object name and the accuracy so to get the accuracy let's say var 
a name which will be string let it be the first it is stored in first observation dot uh, identifier and let's say accuracy will be int will be integer of first observation dot confidence multiplied by 100 so it will give if the confidence is 90 percent so it will give 0 0.90 so we'll multiply it by 100 and it will give the percentage of it now we'll add the name to the label object name label object name label dot text equals to as any which equals to name name and the accuracy label accuracy label will sorry dot text will be equal to the string format so we'll write it this way accuracy and in the end we'll put a percentage right oh no 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 the text will be accuracy colon and then the accuracy and percentage so it will be like 90 percentage it will be an integer format and yes as it is inside the capture output another function so we need to put it inside the self reference to the property is closure requires explicit self to make capture semantics explicit and yeah everything is all right now it works <laughs> probably it will work all right guys that's it the entire project is co complete and now if you run this you will get the object detection application on your phone it's pretty simple it's pretty easy and anyone can do it and you must try it once it's super cool super awesome so let's see how it works also guys i forgot to add one more thing which is that uh, after this capture of output is run we have to return back the pixel buffer we have to add the pixel buffer and return it back to the image handler and also here in order to change this labels we need to add it in the dispatch queue in the main string so we'll add this patch queue dot main dot async so it will be asynchronous and it will update this to labels yeah that's pretty much it it will work properly now without any errors so let's see how it works yeah you can see down below it's object d and let's open it give the permission to camera and it works really good you must try it out download the project or create your own but you definitely must try it out you can also play with other models that i can shown you earlier like restnet and other mnist model and see yourself hit the like button subscribe and press the bell icon and let me know if you create this project let me know in the comment section share your video your views and how do you like this particular tutorial all right bye bye